Winterizer is um, a, an incredibly uh, well-known and iconic uh, work. Um, I think the inspiration is, is absolutely all in the piece. Um, it's not like directing an opera because there aren't scenes between people um, and that's what I'm used to doing. It's a monodrama um, and it's up to us to, um, to develop the, the journey and the why, the motivation for this character to go from the beginning to the end. So I'm, I'm approaching it like an opera, um, but I'm obviously very inspired by the, the Williams landscapes that are part of this um, conversation. So um, I think that really, I don't go too far afield. I look into the piece, into the music, into the text, um, and, and now into these images and what they say to each other. We have these LED walls, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a, I guess like a giant TV screen, and we're kind of creating this uh, internal landscape or a room out of out of these these whole screens uh, and that's I guess to for the audience just to, to feel like they're um, they're kind of inside our uh, or Schubert's Wanderers eyes. These are these are iconic Australian paintings um, and so and colours the colours are so truly truly of this part of the world. Um, they're not the colours that, that Schubert was imagining or Müller were imagining when they were making this work. They are rich, deep Australian colours and people watching the cycle will, will experience something that they recognise as an Australian experience. Um, but it is contrasted with this very European work in German. Visually, uh, we're actually playing with um, the idea of scale as well because our screens don't the images don't won't fit neatly onto our screen so it's 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 how do we how do we crop in and use different areas of the image and how do we how do we pull out details that as an audience member sitting in in, in, in the auditorium we'd we'd love to investigate the sense of them being able to see the details in these paintings as much as they would if they were standing in front of them mm -hmm. in front of it in in a gallery yeah when you go right into the brush strokes, William's brush strokes and, and his the, the washes of, of mm. colour that he uses, the the intensity of the of the and the variation of the colours is what's so exciting mm -hmm. about them. And mm -hmm. that's what the audience will, will see. But it also has a fantastically, you know, you can look at it and say that's an abstract of a of a forest in one place. But actually the the more you do go into it it becomes more abstract mm. and that's sort of what the music and the action is as well. In our process of scaling in and getting in into the, those details, uh, all of that becomes more apparent for the audience, and I think that that's really great. And I think, and we're playing overall with kind of moving through various versions of his work. So some of them are quite monochromatic and uh, and cold and icy, and we're moving through into these deep, dense forests of images. <laughs> One of the challenges of the work that we're doing now, in a way, is kind of creating an environment and then getting out of the way, don't you think? We've, That's right. We're, the, important thing, the important thing to forefront is, is Alan's performance, Alan and Kate's performance. Um, our job, once we've done all this work, is to, to create it, something that, that embraces it and supports it and, and takes it up in, into different flights. But it, it's the human beings on stage that, that have always and will always drive Winterizer. Mm.